welcome to Represent, where women of color talk about how issues in the media affect our personal lives. I'm Arabella. And I'm Gabby. And I'm Belgica. Okay, so I have a girl crush on Emily <laughs> Radajowski. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say on me. Oh. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. Not? You well, were looking at me like you were going to say it was me. Okay. But then, <laughs> but I, what? It's okay. I don't have a it's okay. okay. I don't mind. So do you we can all have a crush on her. <laughs> okay, we can all. Okay, fine. You were just looking at me so intently. Okay, go. <laughs> okay, can we get started? No, let's get. Okay, so, so Emily. So... I'm, okay, you're beautiful. You're beautiful, but I like Emily. <laughs> Emily and, uh, who? Do you know her? Emily. Oh, so Embrata. Okay. Embrata on, on Instagram. Okay. So Emily Ratajkowski is a model actress. She was on I Feel Pretty mm -hmm. with Amy Schumer. Mm -hmm. And um, also her breakout role was at, um, well, Gone Girl. She was on there too. Okay. She was the one making out with uh, Yeah, I've ben, recognized her face. face. I recognize her yeah. face. Uh -huh. yeah. And then, so she broke out um, from this uh, music video called Blurred, Blurred Lines. With Robin uh -huh. Thicke. Yes, and so what people don't know is that it was actually directed by a woman, I Diane Martel. So yeah. I love that video. I think it's I think it's something that I would make as a filmmaker. So my question though, mm -hmm. okay, beautiful woman, Emily Radajowski, she's also um, a political activist. She's been, uh, she's been doing stuff, um, you know, out there against like the Kavanaugh hearings and things like that, or mm -hmm. like during the Kavanaugh hearings with Amy Schumer as well. Anyway, mm, mm, mm. well, my question is, is it okay for women to be sexy? Mm. And yes, is it okay for us to be sexy? Do we, do we think that that being sexy disrupts our ability to be serious and be taken seriously? I mean, it's just such a loaded question. I, I think... I think women can do whatever they want with their bodies. I think anybody can do whatever they want with their bodies. I think it's more of the consequences that come after that, right? So we're looking at this video and what is her career going to be after that? Is it going to put her in a box? Are we in a society now where you can make the choices you want and they still allow you freedom in the future? Or is it just you do one video like Blurred Lines and now you can't model in any other professional magazine or you can't host a show or you can't be an anchor on a news station because of that video? So I think women can do whatever they want, but they need to be aware of the consequences that are going to come after because our society just isn't that progressive yet where yeah. there are none. But, but part of it is like, I, I, I think like it shouldn't even be a question. Should we be allowed right. to be sexy? Like, hell yeah, duh. Like, who the fuck cares? You know? But uh, at the same time, like, we do live in a, in a place where like my mom would judge the fuck out of me if I did right. that, you know? So, yeah, it depends on like, <laughs> it depends on like Are what you you're trying to do. Like, yes, yes and no. Like, you have to be that person that kind of like pushes boundaries, right? right? Because like in our industry, like, have you guys ever felt judged for being too sexy? Like, at work or like just hanging out with friends, being too sexy, being too pretty, like, and even in castings, people get surprised when I talk about this, but in castings, you will see a place that it, it'll, it'll say, uh, looking for normal people. Do not send people that are too pretty or too sexy. We were talking about this the other day because I just lost, it's funny that we're having this conversation because I just lost a job for being too pretty. Um, and the casting director said, hey, the content of our film is very serious. I don't want the clientele to be distracted by your face or your exotic features. And it was almost like a, it was weird. You would think that you would leave that conversation and be like, well, I'm pretty as hell, so who cares? But it makes you feel limited in a box as a woman in media because you're trying all the time to be professional and be a certain way. And sometimes just the essence of you as a woman is too much. But honestly, why? Like you want somebody good looking in front of the camera. <laughs> like it's about their talent and how they use their looks. Good looking people, bad looking people, if you can deliver what they're looking for, for their product or whatever it was, like you can do it. And I think the most important part too is like men aren't sidelined to that. I've never ever been to a casting where a man was too attractive for the casting or even too unattractive for the casting. They're just not on that scale. Right. Yeah. We're on that scale when we go to castings and it's like, what do I wear? Do I wear this? Does that make me look a certain way? Is this going to taint my image and it's like why i'm a professional woman i have my degree yeah. i'm perfectly capable of doing the job i'm eloquent 
there's so many things aesthetically that can be toned down that I shouldn't have to even consider that being a reason why I don't get a job. Yeah. Yeah, and I I feel that I would love to see women of all shapes and sizes, of all levels of attractiveness to just own every part of who they are. Mm -hmm. So if you are attractive and you are smart and you can do the <laughs> job, why shouldn't you be cast for that role? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, you were a chemistry major, so yeah. you obviously are already, you, you have the ability to deliver that right. information right. because you have that intellectual right. capacity. So we have to deal with the you're not pretty enough or you're too pretty. And I yeah. think that's something that people have to be mindful of. Yeah. The fact that women are still dealing with that and it's in also, 2018. Yeah, totally. And it's also a, for our careers, like it's just part of it. It's part you know, <laughs> it is. it's just like a lot of people are like, oh, look, shouldn't matter. Okay, but they do. Like, I had to lose 50 pounds in order to get cast wow. more. Like, it does matter. On your casting, it says size 2 to 6. I was a size 13. Like, uh. it's not just about this either. It's like, it, it just it, matters in our career. Yeah. Like, if you want to get paid and, and continue to to get money so you could do other projects you really enjoy, you know? So, it But matters. I do think that it, that also still matters for men, too. I mean, look at Chris Pratt, who was, you know, I mean, he was, he was, an actor already but then he had to lose all that weight in order to be able that's, to that's true get, i just like, think that's like man. a different i think the losing weight thing is very different from i believe that women exude a natural sexiness no matter mm -hmm. what um we were just born as we are <laughs> we're a very like sexually created naturally created um being and so that should be in consideration but men don't have that that critique of like you're too sexy or you're not sexy enough. I believe they have a problem with toxic masculinity and trying to be an alpha male. Um, but women are still back in the thing of like, how do you look? Not what you can do yeah. or what can you transform into. Right. Men are able to transform. They're given the ability to transform. Yeah. Well, okay. And I also think I agree with you. And I also think that in the media, media in the United States is so much more fixated on violence versus like, you know, they're okay with violence, but they're <laughs> right. not okay with sexuality. Oh, oh if right? it's not on a woman's terms, no. If it's on a man's terms, yes. Yeah, it's just, I just don't understand. <laughs> They're okay I mean, with sexuality if it's yeah. from a male point of view. Oh, I, feel sure. like, yeah. I feel like I would love to see more. I mean, I don't know. I just love, I love, I love when women own being sexy. I right. love being able to just say, yeah, yeah I like yeah. that side of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I feel like, you know, we, ha we are made as women to feel bad about our bodies. So if we did say, I'm going to do a topless scene, that's... That should be. That shouldn't matter. That shouldn't matter. I think the thing is, it does though. But that's, that's what the makes reality me of what we have to tackle, um, and that's the reality of what we have to challenge ourselves to do in media. Yeah, because you do have to also like deal with the people in your real life. Like, how does your boyfriend yeah. feel? How, how does your dad feel? How does your little sister feel about this? And like, those are all the things model. running through. I almost wish we had a male perspective because those are all the things running through a woman's head on yeah. a daily basis. I mean, yeah. maybe that's what we should ask for all the men watching out there. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> should women be allowed to be sexy? So that's going to be it for this episode. Make sure to stay tuned for the next one. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. And thanks for watching. Bye.